when you eat in food like celery, when you eat food like shadow belly, pimento, all that is good for your intestines. All that's good for so that's medicine. Once your, your colon is running smoothly, guess what? Your whole body is going to run smoothly. You understand? Because 70% of your immune system is what is in your colon. You got 250 million cells in your, in your, in your colon. In your, in your immune system. Go ahead, huh? Yeah. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and the herd. For the service of man. In the earth for the what? For the service of man. Yeah, the earth for the service of man. That's what the most high created. They got incarnation with golden seal. They got golden seal. They have uh, uh, a lo lower bella. What lower bella does, it, it, it cures flu or the common cold. You understand? The most high is bad, man. The most high is awesome, man. The herbs that he created, it's awesome, man. You understand? They got uh, they got bitter melon, which they call it Coralia here. When you take bitter melon for three months, that'll cure AIDS, huh? Mm. That'll cure AIDS. But what these dumbass niggas does, these niggas on the island, they put soybean oil or hydrogenated oil and fuck, them, fuck up the karate. Now when you eat karate raw, it cures your body. You understand? Now pimento, uh, pepper, that's just full of vitamin C. That's full of vitamin C, man. You need vitamin C for your boy down there, man. You need vitamin C, man. Is that us? Moringa. Oh, yeah, Moringa. Oh, man. A higher level of vitamin. All vitamins. That orange juice, vitamin C. More vitamins than the Moringa. Mm -hmm. And C. And the egg. Sorry, there's more vitamins in the in the moringa leaf, in the moringa bark, in the like moringa seed, the whole tree, and in our orange. Sure, if you squeeze an orange, you should get orange juice. This that's what they used to do. Is that more protein than egg? And it has like it is good for your, your intestines, by the way. And also it, it fights off it fights off cancer. So moringa is real good. Understand? Yeah, 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 pop your garlic in the morning, especially your women too, man. Pop your garlic, man. Garlic, what garlic does, it cures um, IBS. Uh, garlic also uh, cures um, celiac disease. You understand? So pop your garlic. And garlic is also, what it does, it takes out any blood clot that's in your body. Before, uh, before you have sex, man, take garlic. Matter of fact, before you have sex, take a glass of water and put cayenne in it. What cayenne does, it has um, capsaicin, which it does, it makes your blow, it makes your blood flow even better. You understand? So you don't need that Viagra. You don't need all that bullshit, man. You don't need those Chinese pills, man. Just take care of yourself, man. Yeah, You'll be all right. Just, just eat a natural breed. You're going to have your fine that they're going to have that blood flow. They're going to be... <laughs> The boy gonna be shot quick on your jaw. That's right. Because a lot of your brothers, yeah, 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 your penis is, is semi-hard, man. Your penis, man, is supposed to be hard like steel, man. You know what I'm saying? This hunger is smiling. She's smiling. She's like, damn, I can't ride on time. This is Damn. Baby, you wanna stay? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Your shit ain't supposed to be dead, man. And the older you get, the stronger you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be vitalized, man. You're supposed to have, you know what I'm saying? You just get stronger. As a matter of fact, I met the um. He go to the, yesterday's paper. There was a man um. I think the oldest man. He died. He recently died in Japan. Yeah, I think he was one twelve. He was one twelve. And he said um. The secret to, to living um living so long was um. He said not to eat too much. Huh. I've exercise. Remember that? Yeah. Huh. That was it. Well, I was scripture. I was scripture. Of course, of course. I think there's a guy, a Chinese guy. He's a trip, except for, for many of the most modern creations, cell phone, or whatnot, whatnot. Which is a lie, but yet so he documents every meal that he, he eats, and he eats one meal a day. That's good. Right? And many of the older folks, they say they eat one meal a day. These mm -hmm. people that live past 90, that, 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 yeah, only, that's... Yeah, all, all they only need is one meal. That's true. Huh. That's true. Just, mm -hmm. Let me bring the scripture to this. This yeah, is our... You got scripture from the tour? Sarah, chapter 18. Salakia. Uh, uh, by Salah, Sirach chapter 18 verse 13. Go not after thy lust, 
but refrain themselves, <laughs> refrain thyselves from thine appetites. Yeah, man. I mean, you got you really in this kingdom. You really gotta refrain yourself, man. Because you can walk down a block, something smell fucking good, man. Yeah. You, you smell those roast nuts. You know what I'm saying? And those roast nuts is full of sugar. They be smelling fucking good. Just be hitting you like, oh shit. You know, you go down a block, you smelling some fried chicken and shit. You smelling gyro. Mm. Like, oh shit. I mean, you gotta, you gotta refrain yourself. You really gotta fight because that's why Yahweh Shah said the spirit is willing, but the what? The flesh is weak, man. You really gotta fight in this demonic ass kingdom, man. You really gotta fight. You gotta, you gotta psych yourself out. And say, man, I don't need that. I don't need that burger. I don't need that fried ass chicken. This is gonna fuck me up in the long run. It might taste good going down, but after a while, it's gonna fuck you up in the long run, man. So you really gotta fight spiritually, man. Right. That's true though. They have saying you um you eat to live, you don't live to eat. That's right. Ah, and that's what I say. 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 When you go into the land, don't do as the heathens do. Because the land is defiled by, by, by what they do. Right? They eat all the abominable foods. That's why the most high in Leviticus 11, he, 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 he clearly stipulated what not to eat and what to eat. Right? Because this, this is what the heathens was doing. I mean, we have um, what they call a travel channel. And on travel channel, you see guys like Andrew Zimmer, who, um, um, Bizarre Foods. That's a program. They eat all kind of nasty shit. Cockroaches. Squids, octopus, and, and, and there's so many good things compared to what they eat. They eat real nasty shit, right? Yeah, like McDonald's hamburgers, it's they, they, <laughs> full of shit. It's cow shit and, <laughs> and McDonald's burgers, man. That's not even real meat that you're getting. That's no, all the leftover pink, parts. Pink slime. You know what I'm saying? Pink, pink slime. slime. They, they grind shit up, they put color in it, right? It's artificial, it's not real. It's Chicken made, nuggets, yeah. It was made by Yahweh Shimi Shai. There's no, no true new nutritional value to fall from it. Right? It's all poison. It's no good. Right? Mm -hmm. The most high created pure, pure food. Why go to the third party to get it? Why go to the cow? Why go to, to some processed food off our shop? When you can just go right there and eat it fresh and raw and green. Fresh carrots. I mean we here in the Caribbean we have a better we have a better chance of 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 um of, of getting natural foods. Yeah. But I I mean I tried my hand at planting the other day. You know what? You know what I realized? This is what I realized. I realized that you buy these seeds, or you buy these seed links, and you put them to grow. They, 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 have, a, they have a time span, and they do, they're not by, they, they're not, how to say, they, they don't grow lust, lustfully, right? But you get some of the old, you get some of these old plants and these old seeds, right? And you see them, they'll flourish more, and they'll last longer. But these, these plants and these seeds that you buy from the plant shop, they, they, they have like a one-time use. Yeah. They, 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 yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna germinate. They're gonna pull in it, germinate, and, and bring forth fruit once, and then they're gonna wither and die. No, and those are those Monsanto seeds. Seed. You know, before I left the house, man, I, I, I what I had, I had uh, planting. I had baked planting with uh, mustard greens. You understand? Mustard greens and uh, and that's what I had. And I, and I dabbed that with uh, the bragg vinegar. Understand well olive oil. That was good for me. You know what I'm saying? You don't always you don't always have to overdo it, man. 
And to get that fat ass stomach down, man, you gotta eat the right foods to get that fat stomach. That's right. Because it takes fat, it takes fat to neutralize fat. That's so you gotta put the good fat to conquer the bad fat. Huh. Now, what's that? To uh, 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 increase your LDL, huh. right? And lower your HDL. Yeah. You know, you got bad cholesterol and you got good cholesterol. So you put the good um, cholesterol in your body, like the um, like almonds. You put that in your body. Uh, you want to eat peanuts? Get the raw peanuts, the one in the shell. Don't get the, those packed peanuts, man. Those bullshit, man. Because they had BHT and BPA in there that would destroy you. Because um, say something. They have a peanuts pack called Holiday, and when you open the peanuts, you, once you open up the smell, the smell just flare up. That's all that oil, man. You can be right. Five feet away, and once you open it, you get to smell it. Yeah, that's that cotton seed oil. That's in it. Yeah, that's that cotton seed oil. Huh. Yeah, so uh, oh, yeah, like one thing I noticed too is that, uh, for example, with the, the, the tribe, Mahana, the plant, is that what I try to grow some tomatoes, right? The tomatoes come out small and sickly. The ones that are bought from the plant store. But guess what? Some birds came and eat and they defecated. <laughs> and the seeds are they, they, that those trees grow big and strong. Now, if you see those trees, those tomato trees look like coconut trees, you know. Right? So the most high, in his miraculousness, he gave us this pure natural food to eat to consume. Right? This is Sarah. This is Sarah, 38 and 4. The Lord has created medicine out of the earth. Yeah, medicine. We're, we're describing it, right? You know, medicine, like onions, like shadow benny, celery. Garlic, take advantage of that, man. You know, you know what you gotta do. You gotta adjust your your, your taste palate. Once you adjust your adjust your taste palate, you're gonna be all right. Because you, your taste palate is so used to that greasy and Sweet. MSG food and, and Sweet. so on. Yep. Right. I mean, we 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 here right now to live a better life because we we suffering as you have this. And it's ironic enough to know that the food that we're supposed to eat to, to regenerate us is bitter food. Yeah. 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 Salads from um, like McDonald's and stuff. These are salads. Yeah. The salads being there for days. They be adding chemicals so it can be there for days too. And um, like if you see something like decaying, you see something like salad decaying. That's a good thing. Worms are supposed to eat it up. That means it's natural for the earth. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. The Lord has created medicine out of the earth. And he that is wise will not abhor them. Yeah, so you wise, you're not going to abhor or you're not going to ignore the most high medicines. Man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, being fat, man, that's a very uncomfortable feeling, man. I was about, I was close to 300 pounds, man. And that's very fucking uncomfortable, man. When, you, when your boy start disappearing on you, oh, man, I said, fuck that. I got to fucking work out. Stop playing ball. That's my boy right there. That's my friend, bro. You know, I call him my little family. That's my little familia, primo. You know what I'm saying? So if a man can't see his shit, man, that's a fucking problem. You know what I'm saying? So you know I have to do those push-ups, I have to do those sit-ups. You know what I'm saying? And really truly what really gets your stomach down. What really gets your stomach what really gets your stomach down? It's not really, it's not really sit-ups, man. I forgot what really gets your stomach down. I forgot the technique. Huh? Huh? Nah, nah, ain't, ain't, ain't Besides pull up. that. Besides that. Something else. This, this is another technique besides sit ups. Do, 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 do cardio. Yeah, leg, leg work. Yeah, leg work. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, a lot of fat people, they want to do sit ups. Nah, uh -huh. man, you gotta, you gotta increase your cardio. Oh, wow. huh? cycle yeah, cycle. increase your, increase your, yeah. your core. What sit ups does is increase your inner core. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to lose rapid weight, you get a plastic bag. Get a plastic bag from uh, Massey's or whatever. And you cut it out. You cut that, put your arms out, and you start walking, you can walk, and you'll burn all that fat, man. You start burning that fat. You know what I'm saying? And you can sweat it out at the savannah. You can sweat it out. Put a plastic bag and some heat, man. Guess what? That fat start melting, man. You'll take off, off that water weight. And you'll lose five to five to seven pounds in just one week. You put that plastic bag on your on your body. I got two at home, I know. You know what I'm saying? I haven't used them lately, but you know what I'm saying? But it does work. It does work. Or for y'all women, you don't want to put it around your breasts, you'll get the, the hefty plastic bag and put it around your tummy. Uh -oh. Or you can, you can walk around all day with it. You know what I'm saying? And you'll, you'll melt that fucking fat. But if you're, if you're concerned about the bag making noise and it's your clothes,